Uh, yuck, gosh. Hey everyone, FPS Chaz here. Welcome back. Let's play Fallout 3. Oh yeah. Ooh, what the hell? That looks like that could like fall at any moment. All right, so we're on the way to getting uh, to the minefield. Find a mine for Moira. But right now I'm investigating the Spring Vale, not Springfield Elementary School. Yes, yes, I did catch that, but it was too late. Too late for the last videos to catch that. Where did I? I never know when I get the key or where I get the key from here. Hello. Oh, damn. I missed. Oh my god, there's a Raider Guard dog right in front of me. Something buggy about vats is like usually if it's like sticking inside someone, like, it doesn't matter if you're like this close. Here, let me kill these people before I try and go on explaining that. It's always something I've noticed and it kind of pisses me off. And these guys are kicking my ass, sea bass, right now. Do I normally play on this difficulty? I don't even know. Nuka Cola, drink all of it. Mm. I think that <laughs> dog is running away. He's kind of scared or something. Eh. Oh my god, this guy is taking so much damage. You are taking so much damage. So much damage. Get over here. Uh, here, let me try and show you what I mean. See, I'm really close right now, so the gun... When you're in first person, it doesn't really register this, but when you go to third person, it like... If the gun's inside the person, it like clips on them. It doesn't do anything. It, it kind of did it right there, I think. I don't know. But wow, that guy took a lot to kill. Like, 40 XP from a freaking raider. Like, jeez, man, that's a lot. Oh, I don't want his armor. I don't want the armor. Oh, I keep <laughs> I keep taking people's clothes off without wanting to, man. I don't want your armor. I don't care. Where did that dog go? He ran off somewhere. Uh, He has to die because he's going to probably try and kill me again at some other point. Where did that dog go? Oh, five rounds. Okay. What have we here on this terminal? Log entries? <laughs> what? I've never noticed that. Suck me. Haha. -ha. What have we here? Oh, this is like... It did like a... Uh, there's like a mine in the basement of this thing. I think it is part of a quest from later on. Oh. Yeah, I think you're supposed to like investigate this from some at, at some point, but... Mm, I don't know. I might leave that for later then. I might not check it out. Disconnect user. Suck me. <laughs> Man, that's kind of funny. <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. I have not even looked at the local map yet. I'm usually a big map, map guy. Where am I even going right now? I guess I want to get out of here. Where did that dog go? <laughs> Capital Wasteland. Here, let's get over to this door here. The Capital Wasteland door, because, uh... That's always, um... There's, like, the... the, the it's the back side of the school or whatever, and there's just, like... Holy f Oh, my God! That scared the ever-living shit out of me! Oh, my God. Okay, you need to die, dog. Oh my god, it scared the crap out of me. This game is not really a scary game, but oh my god, that's... Well, I guess it's startle would be the better word, but holy shit. That startled the fuck out of me, good lord. Oh, I didn't really want to come down here, did I, right now? No, we'll save that for later. When we get to that quest, I guess. Uh, ooh, I really, should, really wish I had a shotgun right now, that would be nice. I really don't have much in terms of weapons. Or ammo, or quality weapons. Where am I going? Not here, let's go back up. Okay, right now Fraps is recording at 60, but I told it to record at 30. I guess Fallout running on V-Sync is taking precedence right now or something. Uh, yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Where is, is this the door I want that goes out to the back side of the school? I think so. Yep, here we go. There's a like, good chunk of raiders out here, too. I still have not figured out the hockey thing, man. Still not figured out the hockey thing. Oh, I should have been trying to be a little sneaky, sneaky, Mr. Deans. Mm. Oh. Okay, this one is not taking as much. I guess that was like some like really high level frickin' raider that I was trading <laughs> fire with back there inside the school. Cause he gave me like almost three times the XP as these other people. Oh shit, you are throwing grenades. You are crazy dude. Well here, I'm gonna throw some right back at you. Uh, grenades are best used in vats in this game cause they can like give you like direct hits and stuff. I might be able to get this guy, let's see. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> Nailed it. Fucked him up. Good shit. Very nice. Okay, what do we have for in terms of... Here, hold on, I'll, I'll be right back. I want to try and check out this hockey crap. Oh, I guess I probably could have figured this out on my own. <laughs> it doesn't seem too bad to do, so you just like... Hold one of these number keys here, and then you just press a weapon. So I'll put that there. Put that there. That there. There. Uh, let me get some stim packs up on the quick keys here. Number five. I don't even know if I'm going to remember any of these hot keys here. Okay, five for stim pack. 
I guess that's the only one I really need to know. I can just flip around between them. Five for stim pack. Okay. If it sounds like I'm kind of a like sniffly, an allergy e, it's because I am. Man, allergies have been kicking my ass this spring, dude. All right. Uh, where are the other people that I killed? I think there's one up here. How the hell do I get over there? By going over here, of course. Oh, good lord. Oh, I missed. I missed. Hmm. It's actually making it really annoying to talk right now, because mucus keeps like... Okay, I should just shut up. That's kind of gross. But yeah. Hmm. Anything in these lockers? A little bit. Nope, nothing there. A baseball bat, I guess. <laughs> baseball bat's pretty decent. Uh, I guess I was using that earlier in the game. I was thinking, like, why not I just use a baseball bat recently in this game? And that is where. Oh, yeah, I, I better loot these people. Why not? Wasn't there one that I killed that fell down here? Or something? There's three people out here that have eaten shit on my behalf. No, that one guy ran up there and I killed him there. Oh, I want to go up here. Get this other guy that was up here. Let's see what he's got. Oh, I should probably use a stim pack. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> I've never known about that my whole time playing Fallout, and that can definitely be useful. Yeah, I'll take that crap. Alright, let's, uh, on the road again here. On the road again. Looks like I am on the road again. Is that someone? No. Alright, yeah, so we're heading off to the minefield. It's actually pretty far away. I keep pressing M for map. This isn't, um, stalker here. Yeah, it's pretty far. Pretty far. We haven't gone, like, we haven't walked anywhere near that distance yet in any of these videos, so this will be a fun little hike here. Uh, I think there's actually, like, a shortcut to get across, because the river is, like, radioactive. There might be a shortcut up there, too, but the one here is, uh, I think, the one I usually take. The shortcut right here. Might as well save. What is quick save? Five, five. Yeah, game's always, oh, yeah, there's, like, a nuclear crater right here. Um, screw it. I'm walking right through it. Oh. My radiation. Okay. It's really not that radioactive. Uh, what's in here? Radaway? Oh, that's kind of ironic that there's Radaway inside a nuclear crater here. Don't need the booze. Oh, yeah, the drug thing. I still don't even know if I'm going to do that. I feel like I should just do it at some point, but some point has to come sooner rather than later. I'm starting to, like, really make headway in this game right now. Uh, okay, I'm going to try and avoid discovering locations just because I want to save that for later. When I get that, there's like a, a tool you get later that can, uh, it makes it so you get a lot of money for discovering locations. Who is over here and thinking they are seeing me? Oh, it's a frickin' bloat fly. <laughs> Come here, bloat fly. These things are like so gross, they're huge. And just the name is gross too. Uh, you're taking all kinds of damage. I'm gonna vats you up here. See, things like this is just easier to vats than when it comes to aiming for them and stuff, because these guys all, like, dance around and pissing me off and shit like that. They're really rather nimble. But it is kind of annoying. Oh, we're probably gonna run into, like, super mutants at some point. I don't know if I'm in a position to really be taking on super mutants. I don't really have any kind of ammo to speak of. I haven't been buying anything from Moira. I don't even really have any like money to buy anything from Moira, do I? No. I don't even have 300 caps. It's nothing. That is nothing. And once again, there's really nothing to, like, zoom in to do some recon or something. Oh, shit. What have we up here? Yeah, uh, I think earlier in the game when I, like, enhanced perception or something, this is when you're going to want to have it. What am I even, like, oh, there's a mole rat <laughs> off yonder distance. Maybe I can try and snipe his dumb ass. These things are really just annoying more than anything else. There it is. Uh, huh. Nice. <laughs> yeah, the bullets actually do have, like, flight times in this game, which is pretty cool. But they don't have, like, ballistic trajectories, though. They don't arc or anything. They just go. The fact that it just takes time to reach someone is honestly good enough. We're not really dealing with ranges where you have to worry about bullet drop as much. Uh, let's see, anyone else on my radar? Someone up here. <laughs> oh god, caution. Ooh, there's like the off chance that we can run into like something like a Yaogwai or something at some point. Oh, there's a mole rat all the way over there. Doesn't really seem to know I'm here. Oh, it's just another mole rat up here. Is he charging? No, he doesn't seem to be charging. <laughs> oh, I missed. Bam. Oh, no, I guess I did hit him, but he already knew I was there, so there's no point in doing it. Oh, I don't want grenades here. Give me the 
laser pistol. Get out of here. Freaking mole rat. Disgusting rat. No one cares about mole rats. Where's the other one? He's way the fuck off there. I'm probably wasting my time right now. I don't even know if I'm still hitting them. How's he like not started moving yet or something? Whatever. What is that all the way out there? That is a person. See that? I have like every single graphical setting set to max right now. This game is old, so it's not a big deal. If you have a DirectX 11 card, this game is DirectX 9. You should be able to crank everything to max and not have a problem here. I mean, there's a person all the way over here. Uh, I don't think it's a raider. It probably is, though. Only raiders ever really hang around out here, and he looks scantily clad. Which is usually the sign of a raider. Okay, I only have one on my scope right now. Oh, there's a burnt out town down there. Let's see. Anyone else around here? No. I have nothing left for the hunting rifle. <laughs> Man, I almost got him in like one fell swoop. <laughs> cool. I guess there was just one raider out here chilling by his lonesome. That is fine. Let's go ahead and see what he has. Is that all blood? I don't know. Nothing really. Oh, a grenade. Okay, I guess he was going to try and chuck a nade at us at some point. And it's going to be inevitable that we, like... Wow, look at all the stars. <laughs> okay, that was rather an ADD moment. It's going to be inevitable that we discover some location, so... I'm not going to go out of my way to, like, not discover a location, but... I would prefer not to get that many right now. But yeah, this one... I remember what the, this this deals with like something like really later on. This is like some quest point for like some later quest. It's actually a pretty good setup. We got these rocks that I'm sure you could actually like climb in real life, but since it's a game, you can't climb the rocks. So there's basically only one way in and one way out of that house, and it's across that little bridge that we saw earlier. And we're coming up on the town now. It's kind of the middle of the night. Can it be daytime? We can do waiting in this game. 3:35. Might as well just wait. Oh, I cannot wait with enemies nearby. Danger! Holy crap! Oh. Okay, that's not bad. I thought I was having like a, a freaking Yao Gui or something coming up on me. Oh, this guy is routing. Come here. Come here, boy. <laughs> the best thing about the laser pistol is that it has a 30 round clip, man. It never runs out. You're always just like shooting. But yeah, I like uh, the arc light helmet here. I think it has one less damage resistance than my current thing. Let me check. I just like the look of it. <laughs> Uh, what am I currently with now? Oh, apparel. Uh, security helmet. Yeah, it's a moot point at this point, but yeah, I like the, uh, the arc, I like the, the welding, the welding mask. I tend to wear that a lot. <laughs> and, uh, okay, yeah, so we're just getting some blowflies. I guess I can take their meat. Oh, I have nothing to, okay. We are coming up on the minefield town here, and I have nothing to fight the guy here with. And that's kind of problematic. That's very problematic, actually. So I'm gonna have to do a, a good point of making sure to dodge his fire. See, we're already like 13 minutes into this. If I didn't like make these episodes 30 minutes, we'd just have like episodes of like pure walking, man. Ooh, I see some nuka called Quantum. Yeah, I remember when I first played this game, I didn't have that good of a computer, so I couldn't run this with HDR. Oh, a BB gun. A BB gun. Who the hell cares? I might as well take it. <laughs> I don't have any ranged weapons right now. Uh, I'm going to actually wait until... Let's wait until morning here. Okay, usually pressing... D moves that around. Oh my god, okay, that's not what I wanted to do. That's fine, though. I just want it to be daytime, just so we can get some prettiness. Nighttime is not as pretty. Are those, like, full Nuka-Cola bottles? No, it looks pretty empty, actually. You can tell if you have, like, an empty one next to a full one, which one is empty and which one's full, but it's harder to tell otherwise. Okay, we are just about here at the minefield town. This is it right here, and that blown up building in the distance is where this adversary of ours is going to be. Oh, that's a bright sun. Here, let me put this... <laughs> I don't even know why I'm bothering with this BB gun, but I really don't have any other ranged weapons right now. Uh, six, I guess. I think this thing that is like the puniest weapon ever. Yeah, three damage. <laughs> it's better than nothing, I guess. Okay. Ooh, they got like... Why do they have those freaking reflectors on just a little road here? I don't know. Whatever. So where are we right now? Where were this? What's the general vicinity of this location? Uh, I guess we're like, I guess you'd probably consider this the Beltway right here, or something. So we're like in Montgomery County right now, or something. Probably like Gaithersburg near there, or something like that. Maybe Rockville. I don't know. Hmm. Cinder block in the middle of the road. Uh, yeah, we are coming up. There's some of the mines right there. Those things. Yay! We discovered minefield. Where's that fucker? <laughs> Off in the distance. He's got a weird name. 
I haven't seen them yet. But we're gonna search these houses because a letter from vault -Tec, I'm surprised that still exists. These houses have some goodies in them, and they're kind of creepy. Pre-war stuff. Some of these houses that have survived have, like, well, there's a raider in here. And a pre-war book. Yeah, you can sell those later for about 100 gold each. So I'll go ahead and take that. No one else is really in here, so I'm just going to go ahead and turn my light on. I don't think your light... Ooh, tumblers today. I'm going to make sure not to eat that until I get the perk that lets you get two status gains from those. Here, let me have a drink of this water. Very good. Oh, smashed mirror. There's no medicine cabinet behind the mirror. Well, I guess not all bathrooms have medicine cabinets behind the mirror. There's not... Uh... Whatever. That doesn't... Uh, it that's a, I don't know. You always think of that as probably something that like a cartoon just like instills into your brain. Like cartoons always instill like weird things into your brain. Like why do cartoons always make it seem like the mailman puts the flag up on your on your mailbox? It doesn't do that. That's what you do if you're trying to tell the mailman that you want him to take some mail. Another pre-war book. It, each time you get in one of these houses, they're like sh scattered throughout the wasteland. You'll get a uh, probably one or two pre-war books. And this is always so sad. Just like the dead corpses are like holding each other as the uh, bombs are coming in. Medex. Oh, there's a safe back here too. Yes, I remember that. Let's see. Ooh, where's the uh, where's the thing? Right here? Nope. <laughs> yeah, it takes a little bit to get into a groove for this, but then once you do, pretty usually pretty good at getting them. Okay. 10 mil ammo. Some 32 cal would be nice, but I don't know if I'm going to find any of that. Anytime soon. <laughs> I'm, am I really going to fight this guy up here with a BB gun? What is his name, though? I don't even remember. It's something silly. Someone sent me a text. Oh, that's just my friend. Philippe. It can wait. All right. Yeah. Go up to the trip. Go up to the mines and disarm him. And there you go. He gets oh, I see him. Shit. He's about to shoot this car. There's like scripted events around here. He like shoots these cars and they blow up and shit. If you're not paying attention, it'll just catch you off guard. Oh, hurry up and die. <laughs> I'm shooting it with a BB gun. Powie. Okay, that did a little bit of damage to me. I guess I was a little closer to that than I should have been. Yeah, now he's just, like, generally shooting me, I think. See, so, yeah, we got one of our landmines from Moira. And we're supposed to get to the playground, and that's all we need to do. But I'm going to actually go up and kill this dude, whatever his name is, because he has a sniper rifle. And it is very nice. Oh, I'm not seeing any landmines around here that's either good or bad. Okay, uh, no, I can't seek shelter behind the cars. Oh, there's landmines everywhere. Jeez, I'm gonna eat shit. Okay, nothing in that mailbox. Can't get into that house. Ooh, okay. Let's see here. Let us wear... Man, he is freaking shooting. <laughs> Let us wear options. What do we have here in terms of weapons? I guess I could try and get close and fragmate his ass. No ammo on the hunting rifle. I have an assault rifle. I can get up close and use that, too. I have a ton of ammo for the 10 mil. Let's use this. Where did he go? What is his name? Arkansas. That's his fucking name. Frickin' Arkansas, dude. Here, have all the bullets. I'm just gonna... Oh my god! Did you see that? Boom! Headshot! Holy shit! Are you kidding me? I'm just gonna... Oh my god! Did you see that? Oh my god! Did that really just happen? That was awesome. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? I didn't think that could happen from that range. I must have gotten a sneak attack critical or something. Shit, dude. <laughs> Holy crap, that's definitely... I'm, I have to edit that for like a replay or something for posterity, man. That's just too much. Holy crap. Okay, well, I guess I can show this off now. When you cripple a arm, you gotta use a... Uh, you kinda just use a, a stim pack to heal yourself altogether, or you can use a stim pack on the limb. I like to use it on the limb, because if you just do a stim pack to heal yourself altogether, you'll get like five health back on your limb, and it'll just get really crippled quickly again. So I like to use it on the limb. Nuka-Cola, Salisbury steak, I'll take the cherry bombs. Because they weigh nothing, and you'll use it later on. Man, his head freaking exploded. Fucking Arkansas, dude. Eat shit. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, so... Vats... They have their pros and cons, as you can see. So Vats is best when you're up close, and when you're far away, it's better to just... Um, just shoot. Because Vats is based on statistics, and you can get a lot luckier with a long range... Uh, with a shot at range if you don't use stats. Or Vats, not stats. He should have some uh, 308 ammo. Ooh, shotgun shells. Dude, I freaking owned his ass. Oh my god. <laughs> that was so funny. I go, I'm ready to like, I'm excited to actually edit that to get the, uh, the freaking replay going on with that because that was awesome.
Alright, uh, I'm just going to fast travel back. If I was playing by myself, I'd probably walk back, but... Like I said, I'm only going to walk to places I've never been to before. But damn, his head freaking exploded! I couldn't believe that. I was just like... Pet, pet. You looking for the mayor? Or the Ooh. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't get pissed off. I was just like shooting just then. Man, that was awesome. Okay, I guess I should talk to Walter. Because I never... I realized I never talked to him after I finished doing what I was supposed to do. And I kind of did that on purpose. I didn't really want to go up here mean? to talk to him. It would just take too much time. Pipes are all fixed. Well, I'll be. The pressure's up in the plant. It looks like all the leaks have been fixed. Thank you, stranger. Thank you. You're welcome. But listen, it's only a matter of time before... Yeah, yeah, yeah. He basically Bye. tells you, yeah. You bring him scrap metal, he'll give you ten bucks. Ooh, and I just got a level, too. Yay. Sounds good to me. Good. Oh, he just gave me 200 caps just now. Yay, a level. Alright, so what do we want to do here? Oh, I want to get that science up so I can go back to the frickin', uh... That place and, uh, get some stuff. <laughs> get the, uh, the medicine or whatever. I'll start doing big guns eventually once I get closer to getting big guns. Let's put a little in barter. Let's put a little in sneak. Let's put some more in speech. And, uh... I'm starting to use explosives and energy weapons, so let's do energy weapons here. Oh, I sh I'm supposed to get more perks, am I not? Maybe I did get a few more. Yeah, I got four more perks. Well, what else do I need to get more of these perks? Oh, I think it's because my charisma is so freaking low, I'm not getting more perks. Eh, I should probably try and look up where that bobblehead is, and I should pick that up. Uh, what do I want here? Okay, I think I'm going to go for this educated one. It says I gain three more skill points every time you advance in level. Which is uh, definitely, definitely nice. So yeah, we'll go for that. Very good. Ooh, stim packs. Alright, let's go talk to Moira about our landmine here. And then we can do the radiation thing, I guess. How are those hot little potatoes? Because, you know, they're on the ground. Like potatoes. Yeah, 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 I get it, I get it. <laughs> anyway, what's up? Uh, let's see. I got through the minefield alive and even brought you a present. Very own landmine! Oh, just what I've always wanted. <laughs> well, always since I sent you out on this anyway. Oh, okay. Now, tell me all about it. What was it like going through there? What's it like disarming a landmine? The whole town's just a trap. There was a sniper out there just waiting for me. Not quite as much of a ghost town as they say, is it? Good work staying calm and collected under pressure. It'll be a great example for the book. Yeah, I, I bet. You may not want to see any more explosives for a while, but obviously you know your way around them. I have a couple rainy day toys of mine. And rainy day toys. And mine, it gives me an idea. It's a terrible device that does terrible things, of course, but it's easy to make your own. Oh, I too. guess we're about to get the schematic for the bottle cap mine. So now we'll be able to make bottle cap mines. Yay! Uh, I think that's where the cherry bombs come into play. Last part of the chapter yes, is about radiation, that's right? That's what I need your help on. I know lots about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. <laughs> so I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning so I can study its effects. Oh, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is pretty easy to do. And you might as well go for like the uh sort of hardy fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated part, mockery it of agriculture no... we have nowadays. Now, two hundred rads should be enough for basic sickness. Yeah, I guess six hundred more rads. Just make sure you can get Alright, I might start skipping through like maybe this kind of dialogue. Not story essential dialogue. Who knows? I'm kinda of feeling skippy today. Alright, let's uh ooh, let me see what she has for sale actually. Yes. Let me buy all these 32 caliber rounds. That's it? You have nine? Okay, ooh, five millimeter rounds. Don't need any of that anytime soon. Buy all that. Yep. And let's sell some of this stuff first. Oh, I'll get rid of the BBs. All of them. All of the BB gun, baseball bat. Let's see, what else do we have here? Uh, carton of cigarettes, conductor. Yeah, you can only sell so much stuff to her before she runs out of money, so keep that in mind. Because it will keep adding stuff, and you just won't get any more money for it. So you don't. You want to make sure you don't do that. Uh, do, 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 do. What else do I want to sell here? Pre-war money. Oh, you can get a good chunk of change for that. Very nice. Didn't realize that. Let's see. Anything else here? Out the sensor module for now. That's good. I have shotgun shells and no shotgun. That is a shame. That's a darn tootin' shame right there. Except. Cool. All right. Now, what else do you have here that I want? Let's see. What do you have? You have a missile launcher. Holy crap. 
a missile launcher already. I might as well take it. Yeah, give me that. <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. Uh, where's my armored... How, what's the damage resistance on my suit right now? 11? Okay. Yeah, I'll keep that. And it gives you a, a boost to small guns and energy weapons too, which is very nice. Now let me take some more of these. I can repair that thing. Radiation suit is always nice. I'll grab that too. Uh, and obviously we just need, you always need to get like some stim packs every time we get to a store, so I'll get a few of those as well. Take all of them, sure. Why not? Good hunting. Didn't want to die alone anyway. Alright, let's uh, move on here and do this acute. Let's get an acute dose of radiation here. An acute dose. The best way to do this is just go to this bathroom and just drink the frickin' <laughs> the water. Gives you like 20 radiation per gulp. So I'll just go in here and uh, hold the E button on the toilet until we get... <laughs> Oh my god, this is so gross. Yeah, hang on a sec. That's the 600 point right there. Yeah, there you go. I think in real life when you're talking about like people who like die, like you have like an 80% chance of dying, I think that's above like 200 rads or something. So yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> 18 rads per second is a frick ton of radiation. An insane amount. Alright, what am I doing? Oh, Talk to her. feeling a bit under the weather. Or a bit over the Geiger counter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about as radiated as I can get without burning a hole in the floor. <laughs> I can tell you're positively glowing. Now just hold on. Oh my God, and the puns! Freaking puns, man. Tell me how man. it feels, and I'll get you fixed right up. If I listen closely, I can hear my jeans crying. Oh, you're experiencing delusions. <laughs> this is funny to say. Fascinating. I wonder why that's something you have now, to say with perception. A few notes, I'll take care of that nasty know. radiation with a bit of my own homemade concoction. I've never had a chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed, but I'm sure it'll work out fine. Why are you sure you've never <laughs> tested it out? Isn't it? <laughs> that's not how okay. science works. A little Brahmin milk, a couple magnets, and maybe a few happy thoughts. Magnets? Did I eat some magnets? That's well, not going to be fun coming out the other way. Oh, that's the good news. But there was a little side effect. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm glad I'm still alive. Otherwise, I'd sue the hell out of you. It seems to be benign, at least. Here, take a few radiation chems, as my little way of saying, I'm sorry I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah, so now I get this, uh, if you have a crippled, if you have advanced radiation poisoning, which is, uh, 600 rads or above, I think. Maybe it's 400. Then your crippled limbs automatically regenerate, but it's really not yep, that you've done a great good of a perk. Job. You're never really going to be at that level of radiation for the rat. most part. And this or at least you shouldn't done. really stay there. Here, Unless I guess you can get to radiation quickly. And then you can like of course, use you rat away them. instead of stim packs to like more heal to your limbs, if that makes any sense. Oh, more stim packs, yay. Uh, ooh. I'm start I'm ready to start researching the, the next chapter. chapter. Is going to be a bit trickier, I think. It'll cover how to handle creatures out there, for better or worse. For example, repelling mole rats, uh, learning about mire lurks, and when all else fails, how to handle being injured. So let's buckle down and get to work on this chapter. What's first? Uh, let's do the injured one because I'm about to. Well, I never it's hard to, to like do this, so I'm not going to start not most of the second chapter right now. Fixed right away or trying to bleed out and all that. But obviously, you can handle a lot of abuse. So if I'm ever going to find a good example of human anatomy and injury resistance, it'd be you. Next time you get badly injured, return here so I can examine you before I heal you up. I mean, you're going to get yourself hurt anyway, right? <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's actually the plan. <laughs> wow, what a great research assistant you are. I mean, really, that's dedication. Demonstrating how to withstand pain by getting injured? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> when you're ready, come back here with some si Okay. I'll be waiting here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so what I'm basically going to do is... I'm going to keep this active, and right now I'm actually going to start advancing the story plot a little bit more. So, uh, yeah, but for, before that, I'm actually going to stop right here, so thanks for watching, everyone. Who the hell's that guy? <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. I'm just going to... Oh, my God!